We were interested in the effects of telomeres, which are these kind of DNA protein complexes. They're like caps that are at the end of chromosomes. And what happens is as uh, cells replicate, every time as cells replicate, the, those little caps become a little shorter. And when they become too short, the cell stops functioning appropriately and and it becomes even shorter, the cell dies. Okay? And so uh, telomere length, how long those little caps are, have been has been used as a biological marker of aging. And in fact, uh, there's research that shows that looking in, in older populations, usually people 60 or over, that people with shorter telomeres uh, are at greater risk for mortality, that is, they'll die more quickly, they have a, a shorter longevity, and they're at greater risk for a number of particularly immune-related diseases, so cardiovascular disease and cancer and infectious diseases. In a lot of telomere research, they measure telomeres in white blood cells, in immune cells. And we're particularly interested in uh, immunity and um, our own broader work in, in how psychological factors influence various immune markers that may influence disease outcome. So we got interested in telomeres because there's existing research that shows that uh, people under chronic, at least older people, under chronic psychological stress have shorter telomeres. One of the, um, the most prevalent diseases among young people is upper respiratory infections. and. The idea was to see if people with shorter telomeres were more susceptible to upper respiratory infections when we experimentally exposed them to a virus that causes, in this case, the common cold. So basically, we took 152 people, we measured their telomere length, we exposed them to a virus, we followed them closely in quarantine for five days, and uh, what we found, first of all, was that the shorter their telomeres, the more likely they were to become be infected. That is, more likely it would be that their cells would replicate the virus that we gave them, and the more likely they were to develop a, a, a common cold. So, develop the clinical illness that we usually you usually think of related to colds, so coughing and sneezing and congestion and whatever. Now. Even more interesting was that when we broke the sample up by age, we found that the youngest people, like the 18 to 22 year olds, for them there really was no relationship between their telomere length and whether they got a cold or not. But once they were 22, 23, 24 years old, telomere length started to predict whether they developed infection, whether they developed a cold. And the older they got, the more important telomere length became in predicting the disease out. This suggests the possibility that telomere length is a relatively consistent marker across the life course, that at least some degree of uh, variation in our telomere length is really uh, either genetically determined or determined by uh, early childhood experiences are determined by stable characteristics of the, of the individual and that that marker starts predicting disease susceptibility as early as kind of our mid-20s. Okay, so beyond what we already knew about older people being uh, telomere length being a risk for illness and for mortality in older people, this suggests that it may actually start being a risk very early on in, in young adulthood.